clicked on this video because you're too damn lazy to actually go through and read all of 7.35. But hey, listen, I don't blame you. These patch notes are longer than the Bible. But don't you worry, because I'm here to wrap up this patch like a nice little present to tell you guys the most important info. What's new, what's changed, things that have been removed, fun things that have been added, and most importantly, did Slardar and Spectre finally get nerfed? I mean, not really. They're still pretty broken. First of all, some quick general changes that spice the game up quite a bit. Using the Twin Gates now requires 75 mana. DD now provides 15% spell application, and Roshan now releases a global sound cue when being attacked by the last team that killed it. He also has a new item drop called Roshan's Banner, which is a global activatable item that buffs every creep that passes through it, enabling a much stronger high ground push. But be careful. This banner can be destroyed by the enemy team with just a measly six auto attacks. New sets have been finally added to the game. Lots of very festive and cheerful cosmetics such as the Santa Wraith King Arcana or Snow Globe Arc Warden or what in the f*** is that? And by simply just playing games, you can grind points and earn chests to open these skins for absolutely free. Kinda. I mean, yeah, you can get the chest for free, but I mean, you still gotta buy the key to open the goddamn thing. Lots of quality of life changes have been added that are actually pretty damn nice. There's now a tower range indicator on at all times and even plays a scary sound when you're the one being targeted. Hero icons on your minimap also shows which direction each hero is currently facing. It now tells you just how long your TP duration will be just by hovering the area with your TP scroll. New ability aiming reticles, ability icon states, simplified item tooltips, and many, many more. But now, please, a moment of silence for everything that we've lost. Oh, we got royal jelly back let's f***ing go now there are just so many item updates that it would simply be impossible for me to tell you all of them without turning this into a purge video so i'm just going to quickly go through all of the important ones that stood out to me medallion of courage and quarterstaff are removed from the game ring of health is now moved from the secret shop to the main shop and divine rapier now provides 25 percent spell application there are also new items being added specifically for magic damage heroes conda which is essentially just phylactery and chrysalis combined and parasma which upgrades from witch's blade and applies a 20 percent magic resistant shred from your auto attacks. I think it's safe to say we're going to be seeing a lot of quops and pucks being picked in our games during this update. Brand new neutral items have also been added, such as Whisper of the Dread that provides you with 10% spell damage but sacrificing your daytime vision by 15%, Doubloon that has the ability to convert 20% of your maximum health into maximum mana or vice versa via toggle of the items active, Nemesis Curse is an item that basically turns your hero into a glass cannon, receiving 8% more incoming damage but has the ability to apply a debuff to deal 12% more damage to you it's the attack ancient guardian which provides you a whopping 50 bonus damage and is doubled if you're close to your own ancient aviana's feather that allows your hero to fly if you're low hp and unwavering condition which holy shit basically just removes magic damage heroes from your existence and now moving on to hero changes which i can tell you right now are either going to make you really happy or very upset because some heroes got some really cool changes whilst others uh, <laughs> Yeah. Lion's Mana Drain now does damage per second. Drow Ranger's Gust Ability now always reveals invisible units and now has a lifesteal talent instead. Ember Spirit's Searing Chains now roots three units instead of just two. Gyrocopter's Alt has been reworked, now shooting three missiles in a line that can now be aimed in any direction. Magnus's Skewer now does extra damage based on the distance traveled. Omni Knight's Alt has now been reworked, now being a single target ability on a much lower cooldown. Viper's W no longer provides breaks since it's now moved into his alt. Wind Ranger's Power Shot now slows and many, many, many more changes. Overall, I have to say that this update is pretty juicy and definitely makes up for the sad, pathetic, sorry excuse of an update we got last month. I do think that this update is what we needed to spark our interest and have fun again in Dota for the next week or so. I give us three weeks tops until we start complaining and bitching again.